Hi guys, I'm headed to Dollar General and I'm taking you with me. Let's go shopping. So I haven't been into Dollar General in a while and I headed in. There was a few things I needed to pick up, but I was totally distracted by all the adorable decor and lemon pieces they have. Now, when I head into Dollar General, I go straight down an aisle to the decor section. I always want to check out what they have. Now that I have a Dollar General, I'm very happy, but um, I'm going to share with you something here in a second that is so fun and surprising. They have a green dot sale and I happen to catch it and I don't know when it's supposed to happen, but it's happening at my store now. So I wanted to show you guys the new things they're putting out. They have a perpetual calendar, that large lemon jug. These things are red dot, but I turned an aisle and there is a 50% off of decor pieces with green dot sale at my Dollar General. Now, I don't know when it hits all Dollar Generals, but I was so excited. So these signs are $5 and $4. There is a lot to choose from. I'm sure that people are shying away from buying things that are extra right now. So if you are looking for a few things, now's the time to buy them when you can get them 50% off and save at least a little. Now, if you're a regular Dollar General shopper, help me out because this whole aisle was full of items, especially a lot of lemon decor. Now, some of them didn't even have dots on them, but they were placed together in sort of a lemon theme section. Some of them did have green dots. So if they don't have green dots, if they're like platters and things like that, that just have a price tag, are those included? Now, these are a great buy for just a dollar. They have these really nice glasses. I actually bought this a few weeks ago. It's an organization caddy for picnics and that sort of thing. This one's five dollars, so it'd be two fifty. And I think that's a great price. Kind of wish I held off. They also have these for seven dollars, which would make them three fifty. So many pieces for decor. Now, they also have plates. These were priced at two dollars, so they'd be a dollar. Same with these bowls. These are great for the summer months and Fourth of July all kinds of 4th of July decor that is green dot. So I was really surprised at how much they had. They do have a whole bee theme as well as the lemon theme that I think is so much fun for summer. They have these little crocs that have the little bee on them. And then they actually have canisters and these are only $6. So that would make them $3. That beats Hobby Lobby's clearance sale, which I will be sharing with you guys soon. I'm headed in today. So they've got the lemon plates. Those are two. Those would be one. I love the little teal. They have white bowls, the plaid salad plates. Again, the pitcher. I found all kinds of pieces over here grouped together. I had no idea when I walked in that I went to the wrong aisle. They also have these little piggies that are butter dishes and these little soup bowls that I realized come also in the red and teal and say delish on them. They have lots of little piggy figurines, hear no evil, see no evil, and these little scrub caddies. These are $5, they would be $2.50. They come in the lemon, which is really cute, and the orange. So I also found these trucks. Now these are also $5, two versions of these as well, $5 green dot. So they'd be $2.50 strawberry patch. This one's really cute. But it also comes in a peach, which is life is a peach in the white. So that would also be $2.50. Now I did go down the dish aisle and find a few more things with that honeycomb pattern. They are not part of that collection and they are not on sale. But there are some great pieces for around $5. They also have this really cute canister. Now this one was eight. It does have the wood topper. And on this aisle, I found that lemon pitcher. So they did have that in the display up front. But like I was saying, no green dot on that. Just $8 for the pitcher. So clue me in for all you folks that have always had Dollar General. I'm new to it. There are things on this aisle that I would think would go together in that part of the home decor section, but no green dot. And I'm trying to learn as I go along. Now they do have a whole bunch of little things that I think are great prices, little spice jars. That'd be great for sugar. Now this was in the dish aisle. It's $5. It is actually a few pieces of food storage with lids. I think there was three pieces and three lids. They also have a really cute ceramic juicer and a striped pitcher in yellow if you're doing lemons or bee theme. Now I did just notice that they have this whole section of different kitchen items that are also green dot. So you may wanna check in 
different areas of your store because this stuff is sort of spread out and I'm just not sure if they're just gathering it all to that one aisle right now, but, but there is definitely stuff all over the store. Now I want to show you the patriotic items. They have some really cute pillows, found a really cute canister. This one is $6 and it is green dot. So I'm guessing that some of this stuff is going to be 50% off and some of it isn't. So for these flowers, they're $6, but I did not see green dots on those. They've got this really pretty pillow for $12 and that one's got a green dot. So that would be six. I can't believe it because last time I was here, this stuff wasn't even in the store and now it's already on sale. Now they do have these little lanterns for $5. They don't light up super well. They have lots of little centerpieces and some really cute little mason jar topped with lids and straws. More of these over here in this section. So they did an end cap with sort of the Americana decor. They've got some beaded garlands for $4 and really nice melamine style dishes. So these are a dollar. They would be 50 cents. You can't beat that. They also have these large tins and they are a green dot. They are $8. They come in two versions and lots of little tea light holders. I found some more red, white, and blue in the front of the store, including some of the flowers again. So those are $6. Good size. They also had a fun little windmill next to them for $6. So you don't get as much for your money with that one. It's quite a bit smaller. I also found a really cute little trailer. This one is $6.50. No green dot on that one. And they had some Disney stuff. We're going to get to all kinds of Disney stuff here in a second. Here's a better look at both of those tens. It comes in the galvanized and in the white. And I did want to show you guys just a couple of things that they have in their summer section. These are red dots, so they're not going to be on sale. They're $5, but I think they're really cute in the yellow, green, and white. And I also found this adorable little bee with a bobblehead for $5. That could be really cute on a front porch. And I didn't know, but Dollar General is putting out a ton of Disney stuff. So this is for the Disney lovers. I'm not a huge Disney person. We're kind of past that in our life until our grandkids come along, but they have really nice ceramic lanterns or luminaries. They have these little gnome kits and they do have them in a few different Disney characters. You get a few pieces for $10. They also have some great garden statues. So if you love Snow White or gnomes, you may want to head in and check this out. Now, I'm guessing at some point these would be on sale, but I'm not sure completely because I'm totally new to the Dollar General and how they run their sales. Now they have these really cute little pots for $4.50, all kinds of characters with the succulents. And I'm telling you, I found these lanterns in at least three places in my store. So I'm sure they're trying to figure out their placement of everything. I also found these statues in two places and they had Mickey over here. So keep your eye out on every aisle, I guess, is the advice I'm giving you. They also have these planters. I really like these. They're $6.50. I found a few different versions. So they have the bottom half of Mickey and Minnie, and then they have Minnie's head. I'm sure that there was Mickey's head. I also spotted this really tall solar lantern. It is a really good size, I think, for the price. And just a few outdoor items I want to share with you before I leave. I hope you guys are able to find some good deals in your stores. Thank you for coming with me, and I'll see you back very soon.